Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team, and today we're going to go over powder coat colors and their classifications. So here at Protocase, we offer powder coating as a standard finish for your custom parts and enclosures. And using powder coat is awesome for many reasons, including the fact that it's durable, you can get some pretty amazing colors, and there are different textures to choose from. Now we've covered a few different powder coat topics in previous Prototech Tip videos, including powder coat textures and the differences between epoxy and polyester powder coat. We've got links to those Tech Tip videos below in the description. Now powder coat colors are most commonly classified by a system called RAL. The RAL color standard is a color matching system that originated in Germany. And for a fun fact, RAL is the abbreviation of which I'm definitely not going to try and pronounce today. And in 1927, a group called the National Committee for Delivery and Quality Assurance invented a collection of 40 colors under the name of RAL 840. Before this, manufacturers and customers had to exchange samples to describe the tint they wanted. And the RAL 840 allowed them to rely on numbers, which made the process a lot easier. Since then, the RAL color system has evolved in a few different ways, including changing the number classification system to be four digits long, and of course, many of the tints have been added. One other fun fact is the first digit in the RAL color refers to its color range. One is for colors in the yellow range, two is for orange, three is for red, four for violet, five for blue, six for green, seven for gray, eight for brown, and nine for white and black. So let's talk about what we stock here at Protocase. We currently offer 31 powder coat colors as in stock, which means that we have ample powder coat ready to apply to your parts, and there's no additional charge. Now, if you look through our powder coat colors on our website, you will notice that not all of our powder coat colors are classified as RAL. We do have some other types as well, including Federal Standard, and these powder coat colors always have an FS followed by a five-digit number. Now, some of these Federal Standard powder coat colors we stock are FS Desert Tan and FS Flat Black. We do a lot of work with different aerospace and defense organizations, and so for that reason, we also stock a few ANSI and ASA powder coats, which are part of the American National Standards Institute. Now let's go through a couple common questions we get for powder coat colors. Big one is, what if we need a powder coat color that Protocase doesn't stock? Well, while we recommend staying within our stocked offering in order to get the absolute fastest lead time at the most economical price, we are also happy to quote you a non-stock powder coat color for your design. Just be aware that there will be additional lead time to source the powder coat, and there will be an additional charge. Another question is, what if we don't know the RAL color code for the powder coat color that I'm looking for? Well, we also commonly get this question as well, and we may get a request for a specific color using a Pantone, Hex, RGB, or HTML color code, and when this happens, our team will use a web tool to cross-reference that color in order to find the closest match to the RAL or Federal Standard color. Now one caution, color representations on computer monitors and mobile devices will never be a perfect match to the actual color of the powder coat. Now why is that? Well, it all comes down to light. Images on a monitor are made up of light emitting diodes in the form of pixels. But when powder coating is made, it's made up of dyes and pigments. So because of this, the color that you see on your computer screen, tablet, or phone is slightly different than the actual real life result of powder coat. Because they're created by two completely different mediums. For instance, the color of this sample in my hand is going to look a lot different to me than it is to you watching through your monitor. My best advice is to make sure that you choose a color for your silkscreen or digital print that adequately contrasts from the powder coat color. Otherwise, your graphics are going to blend in too much with your powder coat and won't be as visible. Now, I know it sounds simple, but it's something to keep in mind. So for the best results, choose a contrasting color for your silkscreen or digital print labeling. For more information on the powder coat colors that we do stock, please check out our website. We've got a link to that below, as well as some other Prototech tips about powder coat. Now, if you're working on a project or build that requires custom sheet metal or CNC parts to be made super quickly in whatever quantity that you require, just contact us. We're here to help you meet your deadlines and to help you focus on what's important. So thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip video, and we'll see you back here again next week.